everyone, welcome back to France for episode 3 of the uh, Big Breakfast Challenge, Continental Edition. <laughs> oh yes, so uh, we follow on from the previous episode, uh, we should have popping up on the screen in just a moment uh, a couple of uh, little clips, not clips, but uh, pictures of contracts that we completed last, uh, between episodes. There are a couple of ploughing contracts, I think we picked them up uh, right at the end of the last episode and I completed them off camera uh, so we could begin this episode with something new and exciting. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things we need to do in order to make some headway in the challenge is actually get some money rolling in. And uh, part of that plan, um, as you saw last time, we'd sold off the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the um, cow pasture thing. So we sold that off, we've got uh, a little bit of money back in from those contracts and we are now heading down to the store with the old uh, Robert mulching mowing thing on the back because that didn't work as I'd wanted it to. So we're bringing that down to the shop so we can sell it and pick up some new equipment because I have found something that is going to potentially do very well for us in the long run. So, uh, let's stop off here quick, run in and talk to the people in here to sell the old Robert F2800. Yeah, we could repaint it for 110, it's not going to make much difference though I don't think. So we should just sell that for 6,209 fantastic euros, which puts us up to 24,765. So we are now going to pop into the shop here and grab two things, a mower and a baler. Okay, so uh, the mower, I've, or no, we're going to get the baler first. It's a, uh, an old one that I have located. It is just in here. Here we go, the Class Roland 66. It's uh, 70 horsepower to run, and it's only going to cost us 17 grand, which we can afford, so we'll buy that. And that leaves us with uh, 77,620. So if we hop over to the mower section, and let's see what we're going to get from here. Now, there were a few options I looked at for side mowers. Uh, there were some old sickle bar type ones, or some new, newer sickle bar type ones that were fairly cheap. But I decided we're going to get this Pertinger Nova Disc 305. It's a 3 metre width, as you can see there, only 60 horsepower to run. And it has the advantage of, uh, let's see if I zoom in here, you can't really see it here because of the, um, uh, what's it, the, um, the surround, the guard, plastic cover thing on it. But uh, we're going to get that, and that has a swath plate on it, so it will actually make uh, small swaths for us, which is not a bad thing. So we're going to grab that for 7200, which leaves us with a massive 565 euros. That's probably enough to buy a sandwich later on. <laughs> so yeah, first things first, uh, we need to get the, uh, the mower. Now there's a couple of hay contracts that are on the on the cards for us. Uh, we're going to take one first as a uh, a test, I think, just to see how uh, how it goes. Oh, crocky, don't smack into it and break it. So we just need to fold that back up. Lovely. And then we can progress down the road with our lovely new device. I should turn the beacons on. In fact, there it is. So people are alerted to machinery moving down the road. I should have probably done that before, but you know me, I always forget, oh there's a van coming, <laughs> I always forget these things. Uh, but yes, so uh, what I should have done actually was picked up the contract first. But we'll get over the top of this hill and I'll just pull into this little driveway here so we're not blocking anyone. Or in field entrance. And we'll have a quick look at the contracts. Because, where are you? Here we go. Uh, there's, let's see, 34, that's a wrapping one, that's silage. Okay, 35 is a hay contract, so we can do that. 36 is also hay, as is 37. And 38. 
well, there are more hay contracts than I actually realised. Okay, silage for that one. Silage for that one. And then we've got a massive hay contract there on field 51. And field 52. So I'm curious, actually, it was 35, 30... Yeah, 35, 36, and 37. Now, 37 I was looking at before anyway. Uh, so, oh, there we go. 35, 36, and 37. Okay, well, the one I was going to do to begin with was 52, which is over here, which is a nice thin field. But you know what? I think we are going to start with um, some of these closer ones. Because why not? So it was 35 and 36. Okay. Uh, let's just check where they are delivering to. That is the animal dealer, animal dealer. Yeah, they're all the animal dealers. So we'll uh, get, uh, let's see, 35. We'll accept that one. And we'll accept 36. Because those are two nice and easy small contracts we can do. Lovely. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, let's see. I'm going to pull in down to field 35, which is just down here. And we'll get it mowed. That is actually not bad. I had not expected us to uh, get through or get started this quickly. <laughs> Stop out here. Open the old gate. I know, I know, I'm in your way. Calm down. <laughs> okay, so this is the field. Lovely. Well, let's start mowing and see how it goes, shall we? Unfold that. Now, uh, you can kind of see the swath plate, I think. I hope this one, yeah. It's that little disc up there. Uh, it sort of rows it for us as we are going. So, let's go. Ah, yes. Now, I perhaps should have gone the other way around this, so I could get the, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. I just now realised my mistake. <laughs> if we drive around the other way, we can get as close to the fence as possible. Which is, in essence, a good thing. Okay, try it again. Yeah, I was was not thinking with my big brain when I had started going in that direction. Because we get a little bit of extra hay or grass out this side, and I can probably turn the beacon off now as well, since we're in the field out of the way. And I'll swing around there. Lovely, got the majority of that. That's fine. And we get a little extra bit up here as well. Not going to complain about that. And lovely. Yeah, the the tiny cornery bits I'm not too worried about because uh, you know it'll be hard getting the um, the uh, tether in there and then getting the baler in there as well to pick it up. It will be a a big mess. But there we go. So we've got that. Now it should be a little bit easier to go around the other way as I started. Oops. Get off the fence. <laughs> I don't need to mow the fence itself. No, that would be silly. <laughs> but yeah, so here we go, around in this direction. Uh, I think we'll probably just do mostly headlands. Yeah, that way we can just go around and then uh, we might switch and do a couple of up and downs once we've got some of this done. But yeah, realistically, we could just go, go up and down a bunch and still finish it. Uh, go around it, rather. Oh, missed a bit. We'll pick that up later. Yeah, I mean, we've got to... See, the trouble is with this fence around it, it's always going to be a tight uh, a tight one, and because it's a small field, by the time we've got all the uh, headlands done, we'll be uh, pretty much ready to just ted it anyway. <laughs> but so far, so good. This mower is working out quite nicely indeed. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be uh, a good thing for us, I think. We'll just get... Did we get that? Yes, we did. Lovely. Okay, we'll make this a sharp corner. <laughs> but yeah, this is so far progressing quite nicely. I am not unhappy with this. So, I think what I shall do is jump cut to the next bit possibly because uh, what we'll have to do once we finish mowing this uh, I'll probably go to the next field drop the mower off at that and then go and pick up the uh, hay tether 
thing, our, our little Q, whatever number model that is, that does the uh, the tedding for us. We'll get that, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and oh, ten percent completed already. Lovely. Yes. So uh, yeah. So I'll get this finished. Uh, run over and get the tedder, and then come back once we are ready to start tedding, so we can have a look at how that works. Alrighty, we're just coming back along by the field now. We've got it all mowed, and I am bringing the tedder with us. So there we can see it's the TC3200. Fantastic. And let's see how she does. I don't think there's any particular options we need to be aware of. Load and turn off. Selected work mode is one meter, so that's good. That's the um, the swath that it generates out of the back there. I think if I actually change that, yeah, you can see those little plates moving under there, and the um, levers on the top. We can go up to three meters wide if we wanted to. Ooh, nice. We are going to stick with a one meter, however, because that will make it uh, much easier to mow, uh, mow to bail <laughs> once we. Uh, we get onto that. So let's turn it on, let's lower it down, and let's get Teddy. Nice. And it does seem to have quite a wide pickup. We are getting a little bit of the next uh, next line over, which is fine with me. I'm not going to purposely try and merge two of them with this because it's just not that big. But if we grab a little bit of... Oh, I don't have access to this land. That's odd. But let me mow it. Or won't it let me tear it? Oh, maybe I'm a little bit too far off the field. Or this thing's a bit small, maybe? that now. Oh, it's letting me get a bit of it, but not all of it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so that grass will likely as not just stay there then. Uh, unless perhaps we buy this field, then we might be able to pick it up. Uh, oh, getting the same thing here as well. A little bit too far off the field boundary by the look of it. But we'll get what we can. And it's still not quite close enough to the field. Oh well. Not to worry. Like I say, we'll get what we can. And... Uh, Either way, it should be more than enough for this contract. He says, hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might be... Uh, there is a small chance if we bought a digger over here. A uh, digger. Um, what's that thing called? The um, uh, Avant skid steer thing that we've got. We might be able to uh, pick it up with a bucket and move it into the field and tear it, but I'm not massively concerned with that. Get, uh, get what we can and make as many bales as we can with it. Should all be very exciting. It is even merging together some of the already tethered stuff as well, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we've got a decent, uh, decent cut of grass over here, so I'm imagining we're going to have quite a few bales, which is going to be interesting in the beginning, because we don't have a bale trailer. <laughs> And we can't afford to buy one, I don't think. Not with 565 uh, euros. Pretty sure there aren't any that cheap. Or if they are, they're not available in this area. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> uh, but the little uh, Matra trailer that we do have does have um, a flatbed option. So what I'll do, once this is tedded, uh, I will uh, run back to the farm. Uh, we'll put this tractor over by the... Uh, uh, next field and then uh, what am I trying to say, yeah we'll put this over by the next field oh there goes a train going by lovely train uh, yeah we'll put this tractor over by the next field, I'll run back and get the uh, uh, actually no we won't because I need to bail this first don't I, yeah so we'll bail it first then we'll run over to the uh, other field, <laughs> the next field and uh, um, the uh, uh, whatever I'm trying to say, we're gonna we're gonna ted this. Okay, words filled in words. We are going to finish tedding this, drop the tether over at the next field, grab the baler, do the baling, then go and get the avant, 
and uh, then we will be able to uh, pick up, we'll bring that over with the um, flatbed version of the Matro, we'll just take the sides off it, leave them at the farm, bring that over, and uh, we might have to pick up a bale fork, depending on how expensive they are, if not we'll just use the pallet fork hopefully, to, uh, to pick them up. Uh, we'll get them loaded onto that little diddy trailer, it'll probably take two or three and that'll be about it. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. A uh, bit of logistics and, and shuffling about of uh, vehicles and equipment, but it shouldn't be too bad in the long run. And once we get things set up, um, if we get a bigger trailer, possibly after this contract even, um, it'll make things a bit easier to move around because the... Uh, uh, the Avant can lift certain things up onto the trailer and um, I can load some of the tools on it so we can carry more than like, one thing at a time back and forth. So. Yeah. But anyway, that's a, a future us problem. I am going to finish heading this, uh, go ahead and get the baler and uh, then see you all back here when we are ready to bail. Get some bailing action. <laughs> Alrighty, we have got done with the tedding, and now it's on to the first round of bailing. Oh yes, this should hopefully not take too long. And uh, then we'll see what we're going to get for this contract. Now, this baler, I believe, only has one size of bales. Yeah, I'm not seeing any options there for actually changing the bale size, which is fine. We will turn on automatic drop. Where did I see that? There it is. Okay, that is on. So that should be lovely. And I'm sure we're blocking traffic. Oh, no one behind us. That's good. Okay, let's see how this does. And apparently I've got stuck in the ground. What's going on there? Okay, that's weird. No, it's not even uh, lowered yet. Huh. That's very peculiar. Yeah, there we go. It's working just fine now. I don't know why that was having a weird issue earlier. Maybe it just got stuck in a gear or something. And it did not want to uh, collect or drive forwards or anything. Very peculiar. But, as you can see, it's going quite nicely now. A little bit hard up the hill, but maybe we are in the wrong... Okay. Oh, here comes the train again. Lovely. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit on the edge with the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, gear. Oh, okay. it's done it again. I don't have access to the land, of course, yet. There is that. So, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit funky. We might have to look at upgrading this tractor at some point. Get uh, a better engine in it, possibly. Oh, we are about to finish the first bale. Why is that an issue? That is really weird. Looks like it's locking up the engine somehow. It shouldn't do that. Ooh, it's going fine again now. It's very strange. Well, there we go. We got that one out the back. And now we are having issues again. Oh, there we go. Something very peculiar is going on with my gearing in this tractor for some reason. I shouldn't be overloading the motor if it's only requiring I go at uh, 60 horsepower, whatever it said, but yeah, it's fine once we've got a little bit of speed going, that's definitely not causing it a problem. How peculiar. I wonder why it's doing that. And what we can do to fix it. Maybe it's a unique feature of this baler being a bit of a pain in the bum. <laughs> But we'll see. If it works enough that we can uh, at least use it, then you know, we shall be fine. 
Like I said, we can always upgrade the tractor engine a little bit if it's that being weird. Well, that's weird, it's got stuck in neutral for a second there. Well, I can see this is going to be a little bit problematic, but... Hopefully it'll be okay in the end. Yeah, there we go. Once we're off and moving, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, we'll one out the back. And it locks us up again. Very weird. And that one's off on a roll. Yeah, that's really strange. Well, this is a fence down there that will stop the bale as it goes rolling away. So we've got two bales so far. I'm guessing we are going to get a fair number off of this. That's two already and we've done sort of coming up to the end of the second headland now. So I imagine we'll probably get four or five bales maybe. And that should be more than that. Well, actually no, about four or five would probably figure. Yeah, starting on the third headland now I think this is. It helps if I actually get the grass with the hay. I'll come back for that later. Oh. I wonder if it's the automatic release thing that's causing it somehow. Could always turn that off. That was that, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe that's causing us an issue somehow. Not quite sure how it would be, but you never know. No, it's not that. No. Yeah, it's like it's just freezing us up somewhere along the line there. Yeah, well, turn that back on again, since it wasn't that causing the problem. And we shall continue on with the bailing as best as we... There we go. Yeah, it's weirdly sucking the power out of the engine somehow, and then works just fine. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's a feature of the tractor or something. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, we shall continue on doing this. And uh, let's see, we'll get this, what is it, third, fourth bale out. Oh yeah, probably about six or seven then, maybe. This is going to be a bit of a weird... Well, there we go, that's done. Okay, well, I shall carry on and do this, and... I'm not quite sure what's going on with the baler there, causing us problems. I don't remember it doing that before. But, uh, yes. Uh, either way, I shall drive into a fence. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll uh, get this field all bailed up, and we'll come back again. Once we are on the bale loading stage with our uh, a little avant down here, we are loading things finally. Oh yes. Alrighty, we are now coming up to the field in our little avant. And I did check the prices of uh, bale forks, and it looks like the one for this particular skid steer is 800 euros, and we are obviously 250 odd short. So we shall have to make do with what we've got, and I hope to heck that this pallet fork will work. So let's have a look and see what we can do. Now this does have a weight on the back of it, but I don't know that we'll be able to... Oops. Which one is it? There we go. It's wide. Spread, widen. Spread that out a bit. How much does this weigh? Well, it only weighs 235 kilograms. That's not bad. So we might be able to get away with stabbing two of these. Okay, we've got some success there, that's good. Trying to work in the shade of this tree is 
interesting to say the least. Oh, crumbs. Now I've made a right mess of it. Come on. That's the one problem with an articulated vehicle. Sometimes it all goes a bit wrong. <laughs> Let's just see if we can pick up the second one. And we can. We've got them on the forks. Lovely. Now, with any luck, it will load onto this trailer. I'm hoping we can maybe get... Hmm, is this going to be wide enough? To get, to get them on sideways. We might be able to, you know. If I plonk them down... Back it off, that one's going to come with us a little bit. We can give that a nudge, possibly. Okay, so it looks like we can get three on lengthwise. And potentially three on each side as well. That would certainly help. Because this field is... Uh, how many did we get? Two, three, four, five. We got seven off of this. And the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the bale thingy is also, uh, what is it, about 70% full? I think. I, I want to say it's about 70% full. So we've got a little bit of extra for the next time. So that should help us, assuming these ones don't complete this uh, particular contract in one go. It should do, but all oh, that went a bit wrong. Yeah, I mean, these seven should hopefully complete the contract. But you never know. It might have been there was supposed to be an eighth one. And I just happened to miss it. I'm going up far too high. Okay, let's just back up and leave that there. Open that out as far as it'll open. And then stamp them both. There we go. Well, it's not exactly straight, but it'll have to do. <laughs> so let's see if we can shove these on here. Oh, cracky. Can't see where we're going. I have a feeling this will end badly, so what I'm going to do is hop out and strap these two down quick. That way, when I put these ones on, it won't go flying everywhere. Because, you know, I'm a smart person. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not, but, you know. It gives the illusion that I have some idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Off you come. Don't tip over, please. Thank you. Give it a little bit of a nudge to... Yeah. And the same with this one. Give that a little bit of a nudge. What I want to try and do is push them up as well. I don't know if the uh, forks will go in from this side or not. But let's have a look. Oh, it is just going to stab it. Okay. Well, that's actually good to know because that means we can potentially use that as a means to... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Means to um, pick up these ones on the end. Oh, crumbs. That's not going well, is it? That has not gone how I wanted it to go. Well, on the bright side, it is sliding slowly off the end of the fork, though. I suppose that's helpful. <laughs> yeah, let's just put... Oh, now it's got back. What? What even is happening? <laughs> I think I'm getting hooked up on the other bale. And now I've got hooked up on the thing. And it's all gone wrong. Okay. As far out as that will go, if I nudge it. Ah, perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, well, there we go. Let's retract that back in and go grab another bale. Yes, I'm not intentionally, but accidentally making this far more effort than it needs to be, probably. <laughs> yeah, and if we had a proper fork, it would probably be a lot easier. If I was just doing them one at a time, it might be a bit easier as well. You never know. <laughs> so, let's get this one on here. 
police now knowing we can stab them in the side like that with the forks means uh, it'll make loading that one on just a little bit easier. And then we've got two left. And maybe what I should do is put these on uh, flatwoods next time. Um, not flatwoods, that's not even a direction. Um, on their flat ends, <laughs> so they don't... Uh, don't roll off the trailer quite as easily but eh, I mean you know if this works it works I'm not going to complain either way but yeah trying to do it with a pallet fork probably not the best idea in the long run but we will change that I think that will be the exact next thing that we buy once I can get this one off anyway there we go no don't do that you Muppet. Okay, there we go. Lovely. There, we just got one more. What I might do is just grab this with the uh, the forks for now, and then we can just drive down to the thing with it on the end and see how we do with the contract. Attach, put all the straps on. Lovely. And we are going, where are we going with this? To the animal dealer, which is just down to the... Uh, it's not far from the actual shop. So, let's get out of this gate. We'll swing by and close that gate on the way back. Now, hopefully this little thing has enough oomph to get this up the hill because I've just realised we've got quite a lot of hay on this to the tune of 31,500 litres which is not bad considering this trailer usually only takes 8,000 litres of product so yeah, that's actually quite good that means bailing is going to be a good plan in the future OK, so we head straight to... oh yes, the animal dealer is straight ahead of us and I see the bale cell point as well. Lovely. That's handy. This thing goes at 27 kilometres per hour, so that's good. Okay, pop that one down. Contract on for what? Hang on. The one I've mowed is that one, and the one it's accepting the bales for is that one. Oh, that's just peachy, that is, isn't it? Well, it did say it was 50, uh, like 60-odd percent or something. So if I slowly drive on here, very slowly, maybe I have to unhitch. Oh, there we go. So, uh, oh, crumbs. Okay, that's interesting. We are now, um, what is it, 94% uh, complete on the other one as well. Lovely. Oh, and I sold the... Uh, okay, well, that's a, a slightly more productive thing. Okay, um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Well, um, we're going to sell these two bales because we got like 300 oil crumbs, that one. There we go. Another 800 uh, delicious um, monetary units there. Okay, well that worked out quite well, didn't it? I'm not unhappy about that. I just need to figure out how to drive this thing around here. Being articulated can be a boon, but also a right pain in the bum. Sometimes. Uh, okay, well, yes, that seems to have worked. What we're going to do then is swing by here quick and purchase ourselves one of the bale forks I was talking about. So uh, let's hop into the shop menu, skid steer all the way along here. There it is, the Avant Square Bale Fork. Now I could try and use this round bale handler, which generally speaking would be the best way to go with round bales, but they can be a right pain in the jacksy to try and actually get to work. So I'm going to stick with the square one. And uh, I think we are going to change the colour so it is the same dark grey as the uh, current attachments for an extra 30, 
30 euros. Oh, that was for the hoop frame on it. That's good. So, we've got that. Uh, now, I think I can actually, hopefully, scoop that up on the pallet fork. To save having to disconnect trailers and undo all sorts and you know, all that fun stuff. So, let's do this. No. Oh, it's got a collision in it. Rude. Okay. So, what I'm going to do then is drop off the trailer here. Spin around quickly and just drop the old pallet fork off on the uh, trailer itself. We'll just leave that right about there for now. Now, obviously, that's going to be in the way for loading bales in a bit, but you know, we'll figure that out as we go. Let's have that, lovely. And that should at least make uh, getting the bales a little bit easier. So, what we've got now to do is claim that contract on field 35. Complete. So, we now have a grand total of 3,680 euros. Fantastic. And uh, we've still got one baling contract to do, which is quite exciting indeed. Oh, bale trailers. That's a thought. So, a quick look at bale trailers. Uh, blah, 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 bales. Bale loaders, there we go. Let's see what, if we've got anything cheap in here we can look at. Obviously one of those would be uh, ideal, but that's 90 grand. <laughs> so that's square bales only. Isn't there a round bale one somewhere? Hmm. Maybe I didn't load that. 30 grand, yeah, that's, that's a lot. 16 grand's a bit cheaper. 10 grand for that little one. Yeah, that's got potential. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, nine grand for one of these. Four grand for this one. Four and a half for this one. Okay, well that might be uh, something to look at getting then, in the future. Nice little bale trailer. I don't think there's anything... Oh, there's a... No, oh, that would be the perfect one, wouldn't it? Yeah, perfect. We'll have to get that when we've got um, 6,400 euros handy. Yeah, lovely. Okay, well that's the goal we're working towards then, is a few thousand euros so we can pick up that bale trailer. And for now, uh, what I'm going to do is head on uh, in a circle, because this thing drives like a, an articulated skid steer. Or some sort of crazy articulated forklift thing. Okay, helps if I'm on the right. There we go, that's better. Forwards please. Yes, yes, I know, I'm in the way, I'm causing a problem. Honk, honk. Silly, silly villagers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to head off and do that other field just over there. Uh, we've also got... Um, we don't haven't picked up any other hay contracts at the minute. But, like I said, I'm going to hop out here and just close this gate quick. There we go, lovely. Get back in this and leg it before somebody comes along to honk at us. Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, this one other contract on field... Uh, what is it? 36. Since we've already... Um, uh, what am I going to say? Since we've already done the, uh, the bailing and delivered the bales off of that first field, which is frankly amazing to me that it, it did that and it worked, uh, we've got this one here to do now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue on and do this. We'll finish this one off camera, I think, because um, we are running fairly well with the time now. So, uh, yeah, I'll get this contract uh, done and finished. We'll have a quick look at the contracts. I would love to get Field 37, which is just near us. So I think we'll accept that one as well. Ideally, I would love to also get um, 51 and 52. 51 is going to be an absolute massive job, and we do have a lot of other work to do. So I think for now we'll grab 52, because that is back near the farm. So we'll have that, because some of these... Well, I mean, we don't technically... Oh, crumbs, I've done it again, haven't I? It has just dawned on me the silliness of my exploits. I have picked up those two contracts, we've still got this one to do, and when I deliver bales or take them to sell, it's probably going to start to 
Uh, yes, it's going to start counting for these ones instead. Oh, bum. <laughs> well, we shall see how that goes. Uh, let's just check on the sale prices of hay. Hay, hay, hay. 97. Oh, it's increasing. The only place that buys it, ironically, is the animal dealer. So, I'm surprised that... Uh, what's that other thing that we put in? The market stall. Yeah, I'm surprised that doesn't take hay, but hey-ho. Such is life. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to continue on with this now. And uh, we'll come see you again next time, I think. I think that's that's only fair. The uh, the more I cut grass, the, the less you need to sit and watch me do the same process over again that we've literally just done. But uh, that is all good. So I'll get this, uh, this contract done off camera and uh, hopefully see you again next time when we continue on with uh, the Big Breakfast Challenge Continental Edition. <laughs> Well, if you have enjoyed whatever this was, do please give us a like and uh, hit the old subscribe button there too if you haven't already. Comments are always welcomed and if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, don't forget to check out Mr. Walko Entertainment, the creator of this challenge. And uh, pop by his place, say hi and see how he's doing as well. Cheerio everyone. <laughs>